dust jackets are the death of me. I always take them off when I read them because it freaks me out that I'm gonna rip them, but besides the point. It's your girl Jay and today I am here with a little book haul. I have 10 books to share with you all that I have received from publishers or from friends or bought myself. Without further ado, let us get started. The first book I have I'm very excited about. I was sent it by Macmillan and it is With a Little Luck by Marissa Meyer. If you are new to this channel, you might not know this, but The Lunar Chronicles is one of the first series that really got me into reading, so she holds a special place in my heart. But this is her newest book. It came out last week so you are able to go get your hands on it. It is the companion novel to Instant Karma that follows the twin brother of the main character in that book. It follows a boy named Jude who is discovering that he is very very lucky but he also discovers that that might mean that he is a little unlucky in love and it's kind of the story of that. I haven't read this yet but I have flipped through and I've discovered that the main character is a Dungeons and Dragons like dungeon master and the book features graphic novel like panels that the main character is supposed to have drawn of the campaigns that he goes on which I think is so much fun. And they also sent over this poster of the characters. Obviously since I haven't read the book yet I don't know who the characters are but I'm definitely intrigued by this guy down here. Like why why does he look so sad? I want to know. But I'm assuming this is them dressed up as their like Dungeons and Dragons characters but I could also be very wrong. But I am definitely intrigued by the book. I'm very excited. Go get your hands on a copy of it. And thank you so much to Macmillan for sending this book my way. You made a Marissa Meyer fan very happy. The next book is a little bit of a joke, not gonna lie, but it is 100 Tricks to Appear Smart in Meetings How to Get By Without Even Trying by Sarah Cooper. This is actually really funny because I recently started a new job so I have my own desk, right? And my friend, who also works for the company, left this on my desk, but nobody told me that it was from her, so it just had a little sticky note that said J on it. So when I came to work on, like, my second week, this was on my desk, and I was like, what the heck? Like, none of you have ever had a meeting with me. Why? Like, do you guys all think that I'm stupid? Like, why, why do I need a book that says how to be smart in meetings? And I was honestly, like, a little bit offended, because I was like, what the heck? That's so me. A couple of days later, she messaged me on Instagram, and she was like, hey, did you get my present? And I was like, what are you talking about? And she was like, the book. And I was like, oh my gosh, I was so annoyed with my coworkers because I was like, you guys are so mean. I've never been in a meeting with you. You all think I'm stupid. And then she told me that she actually um, signed the inside flap and I just never looked at it. But it says, congratulations, Pivot. I'm so proud of you, Fizz. Pivot is my camp name. It's a thing that we do for summer camp at the company that I now work for, but Fizz is her camp name. Her name is not Fizz, that would be weird. But I now love this book and I am going to study this to make sure that I am smart in meetings because I do have a couple coming up. The next book that I have was sent my way by Penguin and it is Everything We Never Said by Sloane Harlow and this one is a dark romantic thriller. It follows a girl named Ella whose best friend recently passed away and she is distraught, obviously. So she looks everywhere for reminders of her best friend and that includes hanging out with her best friend's boyfriend, Sawyer. But as they spend more time together, she starts to fall in love with him. She feels very guilty about this, so she turns to Haley's journal and she's hoping that she can find something to make her feel not as bad for what's going on. But she discovers that Sawyer has a little bit of a dark side and a lot of things that she didn't know about him. So now she needs to come to terms with that as well. But I think it sounds so good. I'm very excited to pick it up. I think it sounds right up my alley. So this is another one that I'm going to be picking up fairly soon. The next book was sent my way by Forge books and it is Deep Freeze by Michael C. Grumley. This follows an army veteran named John who is on a bus one day that plunges into a freezing cold river. Everybody on the bus dies but then he wakes up under hospital lights and he's very confused but the doctors reassure him that everything is normal, he's totally fine, but the doctors do not tell him that he is the first person to successfully be awoken from cryonic sleep. As John becomes more aware, he starts to put puzzle pieces together that kind of tell him that the doctors are lying to him and it's kind of him trying to figure out what's actually going on. It's also a new book in a series. It actually came out in January on January 9th, so check it out if you are interested. 
The next two books I actually got from my boyfriend's sister and her boyfriend for Christmas. They are two books that I've wanted to read for the longest time, so I squealed when I opened them. The first one is from Melissa, his sister, and it is Emily Wilde's Encyclopedia for Fairies by Heather Fawcett, and like I said, this is just one that I've been dying to read. It's gone viral on booktube, book talk, everywhere, and everybody's talking about how good it is, so I really want to join the bandwagon. I also love that it's a hardcover that that has it printed on the actual book because dust jackets are the death of me. I always take them off when I read them because it freaks me out that I'm gonna rip them. But besides the point, I'm so excited about this. And then the second book that Brendan, her boyfriend, got me is Divine Arrivals by Rebecca Ross. Rebecca Ross is one of my favorite authors. I just love her writing and this is one that has been going around as well on booktube and Book Talk, and everybody talks about how amazing it is. So hopefully I like it as well. I honestly do not know that much about these two books because I try to go into things blind, but I do know that this is like a historical fiction kind of idea and they like write letters to each other but they don't live in the same century or something like that. Could be very wrong but again I don't want to know. So thank you so much to Mel and Brendan if you're watching this which I know you don't watch my videos but maybe Jason will tell you that I talked about you. Who knows? And then the next four books are ones that I bought for myself. I received a lot of gift cards to Indigo <laughs> because that's what people get me because they know I like to read. So I bought two books with that and it, the first one is A Curse for True Love by Stephanie Garber. This is the third and final book in the Once Upon a Broken Heart trilogy. I'm very upset that it's ending, but I'm very excited to figure out how it ends. This one had a sticker on it and it left a residue and I was so mad about it, but we're gonna pretend that it's not there and that it's still beautiful, okay? And then the other book I bought myself is The Scarlet Veil by Shelby Mahern. This is like the spin-off series of Serpent and Dove, but I really loved that series. Have I finished it yet? No, I still have to read the last book. But now I have that book and this one to finish, so maybe that will give me the motivation. I'm of the mindset where if I don't read it, then the series never ended, you know? So now that I have this one though, maybe... I'll actually pick it up because then I can put off reading this one and then the series isn't over. I believe this one has something to do with vampires as well. That's like the spin-off. The last one was witches, this one is vampires. I could be wrong again. And then the last two books I got from the thrift store. The first one is The Third Best Thing by Maya Hughes. This is a new adult. It's about this girl who writes letters to a boy. He doesn't know who she is, so he enlists the help of his little neighbor girl who is like very mousy and shy. Basically the complete opposite of this girl he's writing to, but twist, she's actually the girl. So she agrees and gets to know him a little bit more and it's very confusing for her because does she tell him that she's actually the person that they're looking for or does she keep it hidden and continue writing to him? Because fear of rejection. I just think that this is going to be like a very good palate cleanser for like the thriller stabby stabby murder murder books that I read a lot. So hopefully I like this one. And then the final book that I have is The Light Between Worlds by Laura E. Weymouth and I don't know that much about this but I do have a funny story about it. Back when Indigo used to do their in-person meetings, I went to one of them and basically at the end of these meetings where they like tell you all about all the books that are coming out soon, they let you basically raid the shelves and take whatever you want, right? So this was one of the books that was there for the like final year that they did it. I want to say it was like 2019. It was pre-COVID obviously. This was one of the books and I had it in my hand and I put it down for whatever reason and then I thought I had picked it back up but I didn't. So when I got home I was looking for this book and I was so upset that I didn't actually pick it up and it's haunted me ever since. So when I saw it at the thrift store for $2.50 obviously I grabbed it and I was very excited and hopefully I like it so that I don't feel so bad about not picking it up all those years ago. All right, everybody. So those were the books that I've recently hauled. Don't forget to go pick up With a Little Luck by Marissa Meyer anytime because it's out now. And thank you so much to Macmillan for sending it my way. Let me know down below if you have read any of these books and what you thought of them, and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!